Who caught the bug? Who caught the workout bug? Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to Don't Wait to Lose. <laughs> Someone? Okay, good. We got one up in front. Good. Now I'm, I'm going to tell you, straight up, I'm probably going to talk about this a little bit later too, as well. Exercise is not something that we innately want to do, most of us, okay? Some of us have a higher threshold, higher desire to exercise, but it's not something that you would rather do versus watching a good movie or, or spending time with your family, things like that. But the point is that you can do them while you're doing that kind of thing. And one thing I was thinking of all week, I was trying to think of a good metaphor to explain exercise. I don't know. <laughs> think of it now. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but <laughs> I think of exercise as cutting the grass, okay? Like, you don't want to get up and cut the grass. But you have to. The grass is going to grow. You need to get up, cut it. You need to take care of it. And when you're done cutting the grass, you feel kind of good. You know? like, okay, wow, my yard looks nice. Or maybe something like gardening. You know, you really don't want to do it, but once you do it, you're like, okay, that was work. It looks nice. I mean, eventually those plants are going to you know, start dying, but you have to water them. You have to maintain them. And your body is way more complicated than grass. <laughs> okay? Question? Who worked out tonight already? Good. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> so I had I had James Brown playing in the background. I feel good with him. Do you do All right. So another thing. Now at this point of the program, you're thinking long term. Okay, you know calories in, calories out equals weight loss. You know the exercise is hard to do, you know the nutrition is hard to do, you know, no, and nobody does it perfectly. Not me, not KC, not Dr. Harlan, not Maggie Shieldstone. None of these people exercise three times a week like they should, or five times a week like they should. Nobody eats everything healthy all the time like they should, okay? It's not possible, that's not your goal, that's not, some, not something you should strive for, okay? So we're striving to be better than we were before we started this program, to continue learning, continue getting better, your online resources, things you see on TV, etc. Okay? That's what this graph is showing. This is somebody who found a weekend session. A weekend session or the Atkins diet or <coughs> P90X or one of these other crazy <laughs> workout things you see on TV, okay? They start out here, let's say maybe at a at a six with commitment, okay? It jumps up to 10, they're really into it, you know, they're doing all the pull-ups and crunches and wearing themselves out and walking 10 miles a day and all this craziness and eat nothing but tofu, okay? And then they're like, you know what, this is way too much, you know? I'm getting tired of tofu, I'm getting tired of salad, and I'm getting tired of doing pull-ups and crunches. And they fall down and probably are more turned off to exercise and nutrition than they were before because they know there's something that's not enjoyable and they know there's something they can't stick to, so they're like, well, just figure it all together, okay? That's not you. Here you are, starting at the same point. You got the email or the newsletter or you heard from a friend or saw a bus stop billboard or whatever. Start here. Get interested. You know, first two weeks, uh, we'll say we have the most interest in our program. And then rightfully so, kind of drops off uh, five or six weeks. You know, coming every Tuesday night can sometimes be a problem. And you feel like you're learning things. You might have learned some things. It's like, okay, well, maybe I'll just try them all, whatever. Then towards the week, uh, end of the week, end of the program, like last week we had a big turnout, tonight obviously we have a pretty big turnout. Interest goes back up again, okay, because you're excited, you finished the program, and you want to know what's to come uh, for you and the Don't Wait to Lose, etc. And then, ever and ever and ever, you kind of fall back to a baseline. Okay, you might jump back up again if you come to another session or you, you get interested in another program, things like that. It might jump back up again, but the point is, is that you're higher here than you were when you started, okay? And honestly, I think for you guys, it's a little bit, it's a little bit higher than that. But I'll give you enough credit. <laughs> okay, so it's probably a little bit higher. So the point to all this is that you're not going to be an exercise freak. Okay, I'm not an exercise freak. Casey's not a nutrition freak. None of us are freaks in any of this. We just know that it's really important to be healthy and take care of your body, to do a better job than you were doing previous. It's your life. Okay, we can work. We can preach. We cannot lift your arm for you. We cannot push you out the door and give you a walk. We can give you a pedometer, but we can't make you use it. Okay? We can give you a resistant band, but we can't make you stretch it. Okay? A couple things to do. Remember where you were when you first decided to come in the first place. Okay? Remember where you were. Were you sitting on the couch? Were you at your computer at work? What made you get up and say, you know what? I'm going to give these guys a chance. Okay? Why am I doing that? Why do I want to give these guys a chance? 
Maybe I am overweight. Maybe I'm not eating as healthy as I should. Maybe I am on high blood pressure medication. Maybe my cholesterol is high. Let me see what I can do to change that. Every workout, every time you cook, think about what made you start to make that decision, how to help motivate you. Work out with a friend, a family member. Obvious reasons why, that's gonna help. The more you teach somebody, the better you feel. And the more accountable you are, the more you, you wanna be less like a hypocrite, okay? You wanna work out because you wanna tell somebody else to work out and you're not doing it, okay? So work out with somebody, friend, family member, et cetera. Uh, look at the, the YouTube DVDs, the workout DVD. Um, we're gonna try to do, we're gonna continue, we are gonna absolutely continue to update them uh, throughout the spring and throughout the summer. Can't promise you a frequency, but as frequently as we can possibly do. Hopefully once a week, maybe once every two weeks. But those videos are really good. Pop them in. You guys obviously have been to the class. We're going to have one tonight. But pop them in, turn on, turn on the computer, and do it, OK? Um, another thing you can do is take exercises from different workouts and kind of make your own exercise. Okay? Instead of getting, watching all the videos things like that, make your own exercise. Be creative. Uh, think of different ways to get your 10,000 a day. OK? I know that's. Probably one thing, I said this last session, that we didn't push as much as we should have, but 10,000 steps a day, you're going to lose a pound a week. I promise you. You're going to lose a pound a week. And you guys, like I showed you guys before, every 2,000 steps is 100 calories. 10,000 steps a day is 500 calories a day. Do it seven days a week. That's a pound of fat. If you change nothing else, if you just put your pedometer on your hip, 10,000 steps a day, you lose a pound a week. Is that something? Everything else is bonus. Uh, the recipes are really good. I know it's, it's very difficult to try recipes. I did one Dr. Gourmet recipe last night. It was a garlic, olive oil, pasta thing. It was really good. <laughs> I felt really good because it tasted really good. I knew it was healthy for me, and I knew it was being a hypocrite. Uh, read our newsletters. Um, those are really easy to read. I know I, I get newsletters from uh, people sometimes. It's like, oh, I'll read it later, or ah, it takes a while. I'm too busy right now. Just take. The two minutes to read. We try to keep them, you know, very short so you can just pop it up and read it. Ah, okay, good. We won't. All right. So check out the newsletters and keep up with the exercises on the webcast. <laughs> so at the beginning, we talked about uh, a bank. Okay. And we talked about how being unhealthy can cost you money. Okay. This is your bank at the beginning. I guess it's the inverse proportion of what <laughs> the point of coming to this program was. But you say. You're going to save a lot of money by working out and exercising, okay? By doing things at home, which is the, the purpose and goal of this program, so you can do these things at home. It's not too complicated. You don't have to go to the gym and work out too much, okay? Six dollars a month to join a gym, thirty to hundred dollars an hour for a trainer, four thousand dollars a year to save the medical costs. So you can all use an extra four thousand dollar year bonus, especially with all the stuff going on today. Okay? Side note: swine flu is not anything to worry about. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, okay? We were talking about that earlier. Regular, regular flu killed half a million people last year. Swine flu killed nobody in the United States yet, and like 100, 60 to 100 people in Mexico, okay? Don't, don't, don't worry about that, okay? So just putting it out there. So All right, what's the weight loss equation? I didn't hear that. One more time. Calories in, calories out. Thank you. Man. All right. Give you guys two examples. I'm watching here. We have a All right. Calories in, calories out. That's, that's how you gotta get rid of that ice cream, okay? All right. Or you can do calories in, calories out. Okay, that's you guys working. All right. Weight loss. Do not forget that anything that comes across, whether it's next week or 50 years from now, decide whether it's based on calories in, calories out. If it's not, go in the trash. Dr. Gourmet wants to know, he asked me personally, who's tried the recipes? OK, we got a couple, a couple, a couple. Good. Try them out. Any, who, how was it for those that tried them out? Pretty good. Yeah, I was surprised too. I mean, I'm like, come on. <coughs> Uh, a healthy New Orleans dish, or a healthy good taste of dish, I don't know, but trust me, guys, are really good. So if you haven't, keep pushing for you guys to try those out. <laughs> one of my favorite movies, Forrest Gump, but the point behind this slide is sometimes, for no reason at all, you just got to get up and go, okay? You got to get up and go, get up and run, get up and exercise. Don't think, 
Do not, do not poison your mind and think, why?